Good morning, Don Lane, Fraser Valley News, your morning news update for this uh, Tuesday, July the 6th. Uh, a little bit of history in the making in Ottawa as Canada uh, now has its first Indigenous Governor General. Her name is Mary Simon, uh, former diplomat. She was uh, with the uh, consul in Denmark. She used to work for CBC Arctic. Uh, well known in political circles and this morning named the first Indigenous Governor General for Canada. Now that, amongst other items, will come up for conversation with Louis de Jagger, uh, Chilliwack and BC Métis Elder. <coughs> Excuse me, and that'll be coming up on Chill TV's News of the Week on Thursday night at 6.30 as we talk about not only the Governor General now, but also uh, the situation in Lytton, relief efforts, uh, and also dealing with First Nation issues, uh, residential schools, and uh, other findings that it, as that story is evolving. So that'll be coming up Thursday night on Chill TV. Uh, Chilliwack Armory will reopen for their flea market this coming uh, Sunday. Uh, other flea markets around the valley have already opened. This is probably the last of the big ones. Abbotsford PD and IHIT uh, are investigating a homicide found at Clearbrook Park, as well UFE's president on the return to campus in the fall when it comes to COVID rules, and we'll have more on that. Later this afternoon, Chilliwack City Council should be giving the go-ahead for the move uh, and the building of a new Canadian tire where the Sears used to, it still is, but it, the, the Sears building uh, will be renovated for Canadian Tire at Cottonwood Centre. And uh, that starts at 3 o'clock on the City of Chilliwack website. If there's something we should know about, as always, let us know. FEN at Shaw.ca. FEN at Shaw. Dot ca. Another warm one today, 30 degree heat uh, in Harrison yesterday and first thing this morning in the rest of the valley you may have noticed a whiff of smoke in the air, that's from the interior fires. Don Lane, Fraser Valley News.